Hey, I'm Katrina Klinken. On a press trip to Georgia, I visited the local market in Tbilisi and it was so inspiring. In 45 minutes, I got a very good picture of what Georgian food is. You can watch my video here. Hi, I'm in the market or the bazaar in Tbilisi and uh, I'll take you for a walk around to see all the fresh food here and all the nuts and everything. The, this is the market or the bazaar in Tbilisi and you have an open part of it and a covered part and it's a full market with vegetable, herbs, fish, meat, everything. So we'll have a walk around now. Here in the bazaar you can see all the beautiful herbs that is used in the kitchen here in Georgia. It's a very lively bazaar with a lot of wonderful stuff. Here you can see the garlic, the fresh herbs, spinach. We have red basil, coriander, dill, and also tarragon. I know what it is. No, 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 no. Smell it. Coriander. Yes. It's flower. But this is not regular coriander. Regular coriander. Lively market here, and you can also get the strawberry. They are all over here. Yum, they are pretty good. That's my trend. The market is full of all these fresh vegetables, and I touch it. I mean, what is the name? Ekala. It doesn't have a, it's a brown thing. Yeah, it doesn't really have the English name. I mean, it has the scientific Latin name. Is it from the um, mountains? No, no, it's not from the mountains. It's from the lowlands, more humid areas, you know. Uh, Zogi Hollandieli, Zogi Daniel. I'm going to have some of the spices. And uh, some of them are also mixtures of different spices that I have to explore. What is the name of it? Mili Sunele. So it's a mixture. It's a mixture and it's uh, this is called barberry and we use barberry to give the astringency to the food, uh, like uh, to the fried sausage or uh, we use it instead of lemon. It's seasoned for the green small clumps that are used for the special sauce here because you do not use that much lemon in the Georgian kitchen. What is the name of this fruit? It's the Mushmula fruit from Iran. Thank you. Original. Oh, really original, but it's from yeah. here. You think it's from here in Georgia? Yeah. yeah. And you can also have this cheese with So what we have is the sulguni layer of, uh, thin layer of the cheese, sulguni cheese. Then we have the curd, but it's not the first curd, the fat curd that you get. It is the second curd that you get after oh, oh, the... Nothing, nothing after you make the cheese. Papro, so it is papro. very low in calorie papro. and uh, Thank you. full of the, the safe flavor. Is it the same type here just smoked? Yeah. Mm, okay, so the papro, smoked papro, papro. is also very yeah. popular here. Yeah. Papro. 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 I already have one. Thank you. Thank you. What's the name of the name of this cheese is Imeruli Ueli and we use it for baking and we use it for stuffing sulguni, uh, stuffing uh, the kachapuri. So I would like to bring some of that back home and do some baking at home. Please go ahead. Yeah, you are welcome to do so. Uh, <laughs> kilo. Yes. One kilo of this is 10 lari, so one kilo would make a uh, three big sized kachapuri uh, stuffed with the cheese. The diversity of cheeses in Georgia is really huge and you have all these salted beautiful cheeses. There are many cheeses in the market and there are many of them from sheep or cow and they are salted and they are aged in variations. Now I'll get a bite. Thank you. So what is the name of this one? What is the name? Baran, Baran, Avec, Kuda. It's an H one, yeah. Okay. Beautiful.
And here you can buy flowers. This is a very huge collection of the national sweets here in the front. Yeah. Yes, I'm from Copenhagen. Oh, the hazelnuts are also nice here. Outside the market, there's a lot of traffic, and you can buy bread and a lot of other things, and you can get some fast around all markets around the world. But it's busy, so you can get a traditional Georgian bread or another snack. Thanks for watching one of my videos from Georgia. Down below here in the text, you can find more exact links for where I've been.